يوم يجمع الله الرسل فيقول ماذا أجبتم قالوا لا علم لنا إنك أنت علام الغيوب إذ قال الله يا عيسى ابن مريم اذكر نعمتي عليك وعلى والدتك إذ أيدتك بروح القدس تكلم الناس في المهد وكهلا وإذ علمتك الكتاب والحكمة والتوراة والإنجيل وإذ تخلق من الطين كهيئة الطير بإذني فتنفق فيها فتكون طيرا بإذني وتبرئ الأكمه والأبرص بإذني وإذ تخرج الموتى بإذني وإذ كففت بني إسرائيل عنك إذ جئتهم بالبينات فقال الذين كفروا منهم إن هذا إلا سحر مبين وإذ أوحيت إلى الحواريين أن آمنوا بي وبرسولي قالوا آمنا واشهد بأننا مسلمون إذ قال الحواريون يا عيسى ابن مريم هل يستطيع ربك أن ينزل علينا مائدة من السماء قال اتقوا الله إن كنتم مؤمنين قالوا نريد أن نأكل منها وتطمئن قلوبنا ونعلم أن قد صدقتنا ونعلم أن قد صدقتنا ونكون عليها من الشاهدين قال عيسى ابن مريم اللهم ربنا أنزل علينا مائدة من السماء تكون لنا عيدا تكون لنا عيدا لأولنا وآخرنا وآية وارزقنا وأنت خير الرازقين قال الله إني منزلها عليكم فمن يكفر بعد منكم فإني أعذبه عذابا لا أعذبه أحدا من العالمين وإذ قال الله يا عيسى ابن مريم أأنت قلت للناس اتخذوني وأمي إلهين من دون الله قال سبحانك قال سبحانك ما يكون لي أن أقول ما ليس لي بحق إن كنت قلته فقد علمته تعلم ما في نفسي ولا أعلم ما في نفسك إنك أنت علام الغيوب ما قلت لهم إلا ما أمرتني به أن اعبدوا الله ربي وربكم 
وكنت عليهم شهيدا ما دمت فيهم فلما توفيتني كنت أنت الرقيب عليهم وأنت على كل شيء شهيد إن تعذبهم فإنهم عبادك وإن تغفر لهم فإنك أنت العزيز الحكيم قال الله هذا يوم ينفع الصادقين صدقهم لهم جنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار لهم جنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار خالدين فيها أبدا رضي الله رضي الله عنهم ورضوا عنه ذلك الفوز العظيم لله ملك السماوات والأرض وما فيهم لله ملك السماوات والأرض وما فيهم وهو على كل شيء قدير. Discussion with a Christian. The oneness of God is the message of Jesus and all the prophets. Peace be upon them. Question. Why do you shun the truth and say that Jesus is only a messenger instead of regarding him as the Son of God? Jesus is the only Son of the Lord and that is the truth. Answer. Praise be to Allah. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to communicate and discuss the truth which we all need to know and follow, no matter what our previous differences of opinion and beliefs. It is only by means of this, I mean by knowing the truth and following it, that we can free ourselves of our sins, as it says in your Bible. Then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. John 8:31, New International Version, NIV. So let us pause for a while and think about this truth as it is stated in your Bible despite all the distortions and changes that have happened to it. The message that was brought by the Messiah, peace be upon him, was the call to worship God, the One, the Lord of the Messiah and the Lord of the worlds. Now this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. John 17 3, NIV A certain ruler asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Why do you call me good? Jesus answered. No one is good, except God alone. Luke 18 18-19, NIV. The devil led him up to a high place and showed him in an instant all of the kingdoms of the world. And he said to him, I will give you all their authority and splendor, for it has been given to me, and I can give it to anyone I want to. So if you worship me, it will all be yours. Jesus answered, It is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Luke 4 5-8, NIV. Believing in and worshipping Eliah alone, besides whom there is no other God, is the greatest teaching brought by the Messiah, and it is the greatest teaching brought by all the prophets. One of the teachers of the law came and noticed them debating. Noticing that Jesus had given them a good answer, he asked him, of all the commandments, which is the most important? The most important one, answered Jesus, is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Well said, teacher, the man replied. You are right in saying that God is one and there is no other but him. To love him with all your heart, with all your understanding and with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is more important than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. When Jesus saw that he has answered wisely, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And from then on no one dared ask him any more questions. Mark 12 
NIV. But do not think that this advice was given to Israel or to his own people only. Rather this is the basis of the teachings of all the prophets. The same advice appears in the Gospel of Matthew, in similar wording, after which he says, All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. Matthew 22:39, NIV. This belief in the oneness of God is indeed the message of all of the prophets. Alea says, Interpretation of the Meaning. And we did not send any messenger before you, O Muhammad, but we revealed to him, saying, La ilaha illa anna, none has the right to be worshipped but I, Alea, so worship me, alone and none else. Alon Bia 21:25. This is the basic message to which the Messiah called people and warned them against differing from that. Alea says, Interpretation of the Meaning. Surely, they have disbelieved who say, Alea is the Messiah, Asa, Jesus, son of Maryam, Mary. But the Messiah, Asa, Jesus, said, O children of Israel. Worship Alea, my Lord and your Lord. Verily, whosoever sets up partners, in worship, with Alea, then Alea has forbidden paradise to him, and the fire will be his abode. And for the Zalimun, polytheists and wrongdoers, there are no helpers. Almaida 572. This is the basic principle on which we should all agree. Alea says, Interpretation of the Meaning. Say, O Muhammad, O people of the Scripture, Jews and Christians. Come to a word that is just between us and you, that we worship none but Alea, alone, and that we associate no partners with him. And that none of us shall take others as lords besides Alea. Then, if they turn away, say, Bear witness that we are Muslims. Al Imran 364. It is alien to true Christianity, this futile attempt to reconcile the belief in the oneness of God, which is the message brought by the prophets, and which is clearly stated in their Bible, and affirming the Torah in particular, with their belief in the Trinity. It says in the American Encyclopedia. The belief in the oneness of God, as a theological movement, began at a very early stage in history, and in fact it preceded the belief in Trinity by many decades. Christianity developed from Judaism, and Judaism firmly believes that there is one God. The path that led from Jerusalem, the home of the first disciples of Christ, to Nicaea, where it was decided in 325 CE that Christ was equal to God in essence and eternal nature, can hardly be described as a straight path. The doctrine of Trinity which was affirmed in the 4th century CE bears no resemblance to the original teachings of Christ concerning the nature of God. Au contraire, it is the opposite, a deviation from that teaching. Hence it developed in opposition to the belief in one God. 27 294. You can refer to the views of some of those Christians who still believe in the oneness of God in the same American Encyclopedia, 27 300 to 301. It is difficult to comprehend, so no wonder you were never able to comprehend it. But what is strange is that you believe in something that is impossible to understand, unless we deceive ourselves and say that this understanding will come on the last day. We understand that as much as our minds are able to, and we hope that we will understand it more clearly in the future, when the veil is removed from all things in heaven and on earth. But for now, the extent to which we do understand it is enough. Yes, the truth will become perfectly clear to you in the future, as it is clear to us today, praise be to Elia. On the day on which Elia will gather the messengers and make them bear witness concerning their nations. Elia says, Interpretation of the Meaning. Remember that Allah will address Jesus son of Mary, peace be with him, on the day of rising and ask him whether he told people to worship him and his mother besides Allah. Jesus will reply, declaring Allah's purity, it was not right for me to tell them anything but the truth. If I had said that you would know it, because nothing is hidden from you. You know what I keep hidden within myself, but I do not know what is with you. You are the only one who knows everything that is hidden and everything that is apparent. Jesus will say to his Lord, I only told people what you instructed me to tell them, to worship you alone. For as long as I remained amongst them I watched over what they were saying. When my term ended and I was raised to the sky alive, you, O Lord, were watching their actions. You are a witness to everything and nothing is hidden from you, so you know what I said to them and what they said after me. If you punish them, O Lord, they are your servants and you can do with them as you wish. If you graciously forgive those of them who have faith, nothing can stop you from doing so because you are the mighty, who cannot be overpowered, and the wise in your handling of matters.
Allah will say to Jesus, Peace be with him, that the day of rising is a day on which the truthfulness of those who are true in their intentions, statements and actions will be of benefit to them. They will receive gardens with palaces and trees overlooking flowing streams, in which they will live eternally, with death never coming to them. Allah will be pleased with them and will never become angry with them. They will please with Allah because of the everlasting delight they have received. Such reward and pleasure is the supreme success, which cannot be equaled by any other. Allah alone controls the heavens and the earth, and everything within them. He is their creator and the one who handles their affairs. He has power over everything and nothing can overpower him. Almaida 5-116-120